show, showing both geotile aggregations and geohex aggregations in a map and compare them side by side, you first need to, of course, load sample data. <clears throat> I've already done that. Um, so I'm going to head straight to the maps view and start creating maps. I've loaded two layers, but I'm only going to show one of them. I mean, I've loaded two data sets, so I'm only going to show one. This OpenStreetMap is the benchmarking data. As you can see, I've got a location field as well as a shape field. So I'm going to create a layer with the location field. I'll call it SM points. And uh, let's zoom in somewhere. So we don't have to show too much. <coughs> Paris, well, even Paris is a lot of data. Let's add the shapes as well. OSM shapes. Now I want to add some ag aggregation. So let's focus on geotile. That's the classic one. If I go to clusters and choose the OSM, OSM location grids, that'll be the geotile aggregation, as you can see. Rectangular tiles, counting the number of points in each side, in each um, rectangle. Geotile OSM points. Let's do the same thing on shapes. So OSM shapes. And now I'm going to do the hex aggregations. OSM points with hexagons. There we go. Your hex. And the same thing with the shapes. OSM shapes, hexagons. Right, now, if you disable shapes, uh, disable layers, then it's quite easy to view things. So here we have the OSM points. Let me put on the um, geotile on that, and you'll see that the tiles cover those points. And where there are no points, there are no tiles, as you can see in various places. Now let's do the hex egg on top of that. Exactly the same thing. Where there are no points, there are no hexagons. Where there are lots of points, there's a hexagon with a big count inside it, as you can see here. Let's look at the tile version of that same thing. There. 46 points inside that rectangular tile. And if I go to the hex one, 49, because the hexagon is actually reaching out slightly further. Now, what we can do with this is we can actually... Um, before I show you the shapes, <clears throat> we can save this map to a new dashboard. Let's call the map Geo Tile and Geo Hex. I'm going to put it onto a new dashboard. And uh, here it is at the top. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this. Four times. All right. That allows me to um, have four very similar maps, which I can also synchronize with the more option. Synchronize map movement. All of them, yes. <clears throat> I'm going to change the titles. Um, over here, edit panel title. I'll make the top ones about points and the bottom ones 
about shapes. Oops, I didn't smell the ISM right. Uh, this will be GeoHexOSIM. <coughs> So you can see the titles tell us my intention. The top ones are both about points. Left is tile, right is hex. The bottom ones are both about shapes. Left is tile, right is hex. So now let's make that true. <clears throat> um, I'm going to make the shapes visible on the bottom one. Right. And I'm going to, on the top ones, put on the right point data. So we want the left to be geotile points, the right to be uh, geohex points so we can compare tiles to hexagons and uh, same thing on the bottom here now I'm going to say geotile shapes and geohex shapes there we go let's hide these uh, layer views now synchronize the maps meaning that I can pan them together and of course zoom out and see the effects. There you go. What we can see is that uh, the rectangular tiles and the hexagons are giving very, very similar looking views, slightly different resolutions perhaps, or zoomed in levels, but very, very close. And of course, with similar counts. So like this peak of 41 uh, points in the geotile over here, if we go across to the same position over here, we see 53. And that's because the hexagon is slightly larger at the zoom level. Zoom in on that area. And we see there's actually like a cluster here. Five, five, five in a bit of a shape over here. You've got this five, six, four, five kind of thing. So we're getting very good um, match between the geotiles and the geohex views. Yeah, now when we zoom in so much that we only see ones, then of course we get exactly hexagons and tiles in all the right places. So a very good match between geotile and geohex and also very similar performance, which is fantastic. Look at that. Zoomed out a lot and they redrew everything at about the same speed. Brilliant.